Hey you guys, Anthrodom here, and welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be doing the vloggity type thing that I don't actually really do too often. And uh, what I'm going to be talking about today is, well, as you guys probably guessed from, you know, the title that's, you know, up there above the video and stuff. I, I know, it's actually below the video now. I'm still, I still get really confused about that. But, um, yeah, um, today I'm going to be talking about, you know, the music video, and then I'm also going to be talking about PAX East as well. And uh, the first thing that I want to cover, and might as well just kind of launch it into it here, is that the behind-the-scenes video is going to be delayed a few days for the music video. Uh, there's quite a bit that me and Nick Nickum want to cover uh, for the behind-the-scenes video. Uh, you know, how we sort of, well, how he wound up going through the animation, you know, the, the role that I had. We just kind of want to talk about that. And by the way, if you guys haven't already from the links that were in the annotations or in the description of the music video, please go subscribe to Nick Nickum because, uh, you know, he's trying to get his channel up and coming. Uh, he's a very, very talented animator, and he's going to be focusing on his channel from here on out. Uh, we wanted to get this one big project out there. It was kind of to, you know, help benefit both of us, and uh, yeah, he definitely deserves it. So, again, be sure to check out Nick Nickum. Check out, you know, all the animations that he's got on his channel because he's got some really good stuff there, and you guys are not going to regret subscribing to the content that he's going to have in the future. But uh, anyway, so like I said, the behind the scenes is going to be delayed by a few days, and as well, I wanted to mention why, is uh, Nick Nickum is actually sick as of me recording this, uh, <laughs> as of me recording uh, this vlog. He's, he was, he got sick like two days prior to the music video being done, and he just kind of powered through it. I even encouraged him, like, dude, if you need to take a few days off, just, just do it, you know, we can delay this a week if you're sick, but no, he powered through it like a champion. And uh, yeah, so again, go subscribe to him for all those reasons and many, many more. So yeah, uh, something else I wanted to say as well is I couldn't, I can't thank you guys enough for the, you know, the feedback that I've gotten on the music video so far. Uh, you know, the feedback over has been overwhelmingly positive and I honestly couldn't have asked for a better result myself. I'm really glad you guys are enjoying it. Um, for those of you who are wondering, because I have said it in various places, yes, this did take about eight months of production in one form or another. Um, I might as well talk about in this video because um, we'll be covering a lot, uh, you know, a lot of like how the video was made made in the behind the scenes. So this is probably something that's never really going to get mentioned. Um, so the, the production for the music video started in late June. That's when I started creating the lyrics for the song. And, um, that happened until about mid-July, you know, I kind of was doing this on and off, like this wasn't a full-time everyday project. For those of you who are wondering, I would say on average maybe, you know, an hour or two a day was spent on my part on the music video, um, on Nick Nickum's part from the day he started animating, which was actually in late September, and I'll get into what the, why there was a time gap there. Um, Nick Nickum actually was animating, you know, during most of his spare time for like ev almost every day. Uh, you know, unless he was working on work for his channel, like he's a workaholic, he's a champion and, uh, yeah. Um, but anyways, so the lyric writing for the music video ended, you know, in like mid July and right around that time I had actually picked up an animator and, uh, it was actually not Nick Nickum TV at the time. Uh, so the guy who picked up the animation, uh, to begin with, you know, right around mid July was Element Animation and, uh, I contacted him after I saw Bite Size Minecraft to do the animation for the project. Uh, everything was really coming together quite nicely. He did agree to, uh, to work on the animation and, uh, we kind of roughly estimated that it would take like two months, maybe maybe, and that was an amount of time that he was willing to spend on the video, as long as he would ha uh, be able to work on one video for his channel in between that, um, but as it turns out, you know, after he got done rigging everything, um, you know, like rigging the set, lighting it and whatnot, and then, you know, starting on the animation, um, the storyline itself, uh, kind of, you know, partly my fault, wasn't really as complete as it could have been, <clears throat> you know, I didn't really have a proper storyboard set for the music video. And as well, the amount of animation that I was requesting, you know, I was requesting a lot of fast-paced animation. It wasn't like slow animation where there was a lot of character waiting um, and, you know, slow sequences. So, music video actually um, wound up, you know, the estimation started turning towards three, three to four months or so. Which, again, in and of itself isn't bad if the animator is working full-time, but Element Animation had his own channel to work on. So, unfortunately, about a month after starting the project, he had to leave the project, um, you know, after I think it was working on um, An Egg's Guide to Minecraft Episode 7. So, yeah, he had to dump the project. Unfortunately, I don't blame him whatsoever. You know, he's a, definitely a great guy. He had his own obligations, and he took he took on a little bit more than he could handle. And uh, I have still have the utmost most respect for him. But anyways, so 
Once that whole period kind of ended, it was about mid-August, and the music video was kind of in limbo at that point. I had a completed song, and I had no animation whatsoever. So, you know, for a while, I was kind of bummed out about it, and then I started, you know, hunting around on Twitter. You know, I was asking around, like, hey, is there any animators who are willing, willing to do this project, or anyone who's willing to work full-time? And uh, I got two other animators uh, who both also quit the project within a few days of it coming out. Or, I mean, within a few days of uh, them saying, yes, they wanted to start the project. So, there, I believe I had three, actually, three animators. There was a team of two and then one other animator, and they both bailed on the project because they said it was going to take too long. And this was before they even got started on any of the work. And then came along Nick Nickum. Uh, he was referred to me by Pedro, the guy who created the uh, instrumental for the song itself. And uh, Brad Nauber, I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Totally sorry if I'm not, but I believe the K is silent and K-N-A-U-B-E-R. So Nauber is how I would pronounce it. If it's Knauber, that, okay. But anyways, so Pedro, uh, the guy who had created the, the instrumental for the song, actually referred me to Nick Nickum TV. Uh, he, he informed me that Nick Nickum TV was, he really wanted to work on the music video. I think he might have even told me early on, but uh, I hadn't actually seen and you know a whole lot of Nick Nickum's work, or at least I hadn't seen any that looked to the caliber that I wanted to. And then I got referred to Nick Nickum again shortly after he released Enderman's Twilight Zone, and that to me, like just the the feeling, the look, you know, this the way he did the cinematography for that video, and to me it was a huge step up from anything else he had done. And I gladly accepted him for the project, and we had been working on it ever since. He actually had to quit one of his, uh, I think his main full-time job to uh, work on the music video. He has a part-time job aside of that, which is a bit more relaxing. So anyways, so Nick Nickum TV being the champion that he is, worked on the music video from, it was about late September all the way to about two or three days before the music video came out. You know, he was working on it fairly consistently. And uh, as a result, his main cha his channel was kind of taken a dive for it. And I told him at points, you know, if you ever need to work on your channel, you let me know and you go ahead and you do that. Because uh, I really didn't mind him doing that in between. That was actually an agreement that we came to when the music video actually started. So, yeah, that was the, you know, sort of like a behind the scenes of the behind the scenes of the music video. The behind the scenes stuff that we're going to be releasing in a few days is more or less going to cover, you know, how the music video was made, um, you know, like inside of the editing program. And uh, yeah, and there's a couple of other fun facts that we'll be talking about in the behind the scenes video. Be sure to keep a lookout for that. But anyways... I believe I've been rambling on for too long now. Let's go ahead and let's talk about PAX East. So as I said, I was going to uh, towards the beginning of the video. So uh, PAX East, as you guys may or may not know about, is a giant gaming convention where gamers from all over the place come into one place and they do gaming stuff. But it's not just that. It's not just like a giant collection of gamers hanging out or something. Uh, it's a giant gaming uh, expo. So there are gaming publishers from all over that come to showcase their stuff. Um, there are different, you know, like tournaments and stuff that happen in like the PC area. Specifically, there will be a Minecraft tournament happening on Friday. Uh, I think it's Friday night for those of you who are going to PAX East. So if you're going, I want to see you there because I'm going to be filming there. So, yeah. But if you guys want an idea of what PAX is like, you know, in video form, uh, when PAX Prime occurred in August, September of 2012, or last year, wow, I guess kind of the same thing. But anyways, when PAX Prime occurred, I actually filmed a couple of videos for PAX Prime. So if you guys want to check that out, the links are going to be in the description below for that, uh, most likely, unless I forget to edit them in, in which case I will edit them in, just maybe not right away. But anyways, so PAX East is this really awesome gaming convention that's going to be happening on March 22nd to March 24th. Uh, in Boston, Massachusetts. It's going to be super amazing, and I'm going to be doing the same sort of filming thing that I did that uh, when I went to PAX Prime. Uh, more than likely, it's probably also going to be three videos, just like it was at PAX Prime, and I anticipate it is going to be awesome. I think the Minecraft tournament is probably going to wind up being a bit bigger than it was last time. I might even have, like, two cameras going, possibly. I might bring in my backup camera so, like, I can film a perspective with my, uh, my old school camera that I used at Minecon, just a little handheld thing, and then this camera that you guys are seeing right here. So, who knows? You might get two perspectives or something. It might be awesome. You know, well, you guys are just gonna have to wait and see on that. But anyways, I just wanted to announce those two things. You know, thank you guys for giving, uh, giving me, Nick Nickum, Brad, uh, Pedro, and everyone else who worked on the music video. You know, some huge props. You know, we are very excited with the turnout. And expect the behind the scenes video in a couple of days because, like I said before, Nick Nickum is currently sick. So, give him well wishes, go subscribe to him, and all that good stuff. And I believe I have talked about everything that I wanted to talk about in this vlog. So, anyways, guys, again, thanks again. Hope you all have enjoyed this vlog. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. 
Thanks so much for watching.